In the last video, we learned how to control our paddles so that you know when we click on the slag, our paddle starts moving. Can you see that? Now, in this video, we're going to be showing you. I'm going to be showing you how to control our ball. Okay. So now, how do we do that? Our tennis ball. So how do we do that? We click on the tennis ball, and then we see what we select the event again, the same event, which is what when flag is clicked. Now, let me make this bigger. So that um, we can all see it on our different screen. All right. So when flag is clicked, what do we want the ball to do? Remember to always use a forever loop. We want it to keep moving until the game is over. So we say forever loop. Now after selecting your forever loop, we want this ball to move. Is that not so? Now to make the ball move, we we say what? We go to motion and then say move 10 steps now move 10 steps after moving 10 step if on edge we want it to bounce right so you select under the same motion so if on edge bounce now let's test run what we have right now and then see what we put to the ball now let's check you see it keeps moving what left and right it keeps moving left and right and that's all but now how do we make it move in a random position how do we make it move in a random position? To make it move in a random position, we need to understand what um, X and Y coordinates are. So I'll be using um, this symbol for my explanation. Now, if we want our... Okay, let me use the sprites as my explanation. If I want to turn this sprite to zero degree, you see what is happening to my sprites it's turning that way now so this is zero degree can you see that look at the direction right there now can you see 37 and now we keep going to 180 and then minus this is the minus coordinates now this is showing you that we need to make sure it's 90 okay just come here and then type 90 now we need to make sure that what our ball is actually moving in any of this direction okay so to achieve that you come to this football to this tennis ball sorry and then you come to the first thing we want to do whenever we click our flag is to what to make sure our ball comes to the center to do that to make your ball come to the center let's test run it our x and y coordinate has to be what zero and then when you press enter it comes to the center so now how do we achieve that writing a code so to write the code we come to what go to x equals to zero and y equals zero this would actually make our tennis ball come to the center so that's the first thing now the second thing we want is that what we want our tennis ball to point to any direction all right so pointing to any direction is saying like saying what picking between Picking any direction between what one degree, let's go back to this place between what one degree and what 360 degree because this is what first 180 and then the next 180 is what negative 180. Okay, so now it's between what one degree and um, 360 degree. So now, how do we achieve that? We're going to say what point in direction, but now in this case. We are pointing in direction between what 1 and 360. Now, to achieve that, you need to come to operators and then select what peak random between 1 to or 1 to 10. But now, in this case, we're going to be picking between what 1 and what 360 because we want it to turn to any direction, but we won't, we don't want it to we, do, we don't want it to, to actually peak. Um, a specific direction we want to pick any direction between what 1 and 360 and then that's why we're doing this okay and then we now see what let it move 10 step and even edge bounce so now this would first what let's break down the code the first step is what it comes to the center the second step is what it picks any direction between 1 and 360 and then it moves 10 step and if it gets to the edge it bounces and then he continued doing this forever now let's check our code and see what happens to our ball so when i click on flag now see 
is moving in a different direction. The reason is because we've selected between what? 1 and 360. I hope you understand this concept. Now, this is how to move our ball in a random position. Remember, we have just from 1 degrees to 360 degrees. Now, this is how to move our ball. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how to make our ball bounce when it um, touches the paddle. See you in the next video. Keep flourishing and remember to subscribe. Okay? Now, keep flourishing.